So hello everyone and welcome to Mojafar Industry Presents Digital Dialogue on Mandatory Welding and Cutting Safety Practices in Metal Walking, sponsored by Mesa Cutting Systems India. Experts will provide you with the valuable insights about the mandatory welding and cutting safety practices that are crucial for ensuring the well-being of workers, the integrity of equipment and the productivity of metal working operations. So before we get started, uh, let me introduce you with our panelists for the day. We are pleased to join by Mr. Arun Jain, who is the Oxifel business head for Mesa Cutting Systems India, and Mr. Sankha Das, who is the manager of sales skill development at Mesa Cutting Systems India. Welcome both of you. So to start with, I will invite Mr. Sankha Das to share more details on the importance of safety in welding and cutting in the context of metal working. Welcome, Mr. Das. Importance of safety in welding and cutting in the context of metal working. We are talking of mandatory safety practices in metal working process. Now, what is metal working process? Metal working is the process of shaping and reshaping metals to create useful objects, parts, assemblies, and large scale structures. So, if you see in the in your workshops, in your factories, in your garages in your work areas the basic metal working processes you experience is grinding welding oxyfoil cutting and plasma cutting where oxyfoil cutting is not possible only competent person trained in the using of grinding machine shall be allowed to use portable grinders don't give portable grinders to a novice to operate Personal task to use grinder shall attend grinder safety training before they are allowed to use grinding machine. Grinding is not a very easy job because you have to hold that heavy machine and carry out the operation. Safety precautions, number one, which is every, very common for all the practices, proper PPE, including double eye protection, such as use of goggles underneath a shatter resistant face shield, and an inhalation mask such as dust mask, leather gloves shall be worn by personal operating grinding machines. Subjected workpieces shall be secured using proper clamps. Holding the workpiece onto one hand while performing grinding operation is strictly prohibited. All handle grind machines shall be complete with handle or commonly known as T-bar. Removal of the handle during use is strictly prohibited. Each grinding machine shall be fitted with correct guard as supplied by the manufacturer. The guard shall cover a minimum of 70% of the circumference of the rotating disc. While using, don't use grinding wheel for cutting or cutting wheel for grinding. While changing the grinding disc on the grinder, the power source shall be isolated and the plug physically removed. Electric shock, bright light, ultraviolet radiation, Toxic fumes and gases, heat, fire, and burns. If you see, all the welding processes are having this type of hazards. Avoid touching the metallic parts of the electrode holder, especially if your skin or cloth are damp. Welders should wear dry gloves in good condition. Provide rubber mats or any type of insulation for welders. Perform proper inspection of welding equipment and electrode holder before working. Take extra safety measures when working on humid places, metal structures and cramped conditions. Proper size HOFR heat oil fire resistant cables in conformation with, conformance with IS9857 should be used to prevent electrical and heat related accident. So what are the precautions should be taken? First of all, Keep a fire extinguisher on hand and also bucket full of sand. At least three buckets full of sand is ready near the process of welding. Always store combustible substances like gasoline, wood, cardboard and flammable chemicals away from the walking space. Welding hazard radiation. We know what is radiation. Welding arcs give off radiation over a broad range of wavelengths from 200 nan Newton nanometers to 1400 nanometers or 0.2 to 1.4 mm micrometers. These ranges include ultraviolet radiation, visible light and infrared radiations. 
long term exposure to uv radiation can cause skin cancer first of all eye protection welders should use welding helmets of correct in shade suitable for different welding processes we should understand mmaw gtaw and gmaw they have different din shades because the uh, in luminosity of the lights are different for different welding processes welding area should be guarded with welding curtains so that any other worker is not affected by the radiation of welding head and face protection welding helmet aise hona chahiye full face cover hona chahiye the welding helmet should cover the entire face of the welder not just the hand shield welder should use a neck protection it is very important that the welder's gloves provide thermal insulation as well as blocking out uv and visible light frequencies the gloves should be designed to cover hand and wrist and overlap the slips at the same time iske sath arm guard bhi use karna chahiye as the welding area is to be guarded by welding curtains jaise humne bataya carbon dioxide toot ke carbon monoxide banta hai aur ye carbon monoxide ke liye sardard dizziness aur muscle ka weakness hone ka chances rehta hai toxicity caused due to the decomposition of the coatings most of the metals are coated iske liye jo decomposition hota hai coatings ka all form very toxic gases one of them are nitrogen oxide and ozone what are the safety measures use substitute materials such as water based cleaner or high flash point solvents consider using lower fume generating or less toxic process or material safely remove coatings before welding have adequate ventilation in the workspace to prevent displacement or enrichment of oxygen and to prevent accumulation of hazardous substances and flammable atmosphere what are positioning themselves to avoid breathing welding fumes and gases use trolleys for transporting gas cylinders never roll the cylinders on the ground never use cutting torch head or electrode holder for removing slags use chipping hammer of correct weight never use your gloves on hand to clean the weld bit always use wire brush never use cigarette lighter or matchstick to ignite a flame for cutting or welding use industrial gas regulators because cigarette lighter and matchsticks are uh, gives you a naked flame whereas industrial gas regulators can give you only a spark to ignite the flame with this i thank you so ladies and gentlemen our next speaker is mr arun jain he, he will help you to understand the unique safety considerations for oxy fuel welding and cutting methods welcome mr arun i will say oxy fuel process is one of the most widely used process especially wherever we see welding cutting will be a part of that so the the caption on your screen shows that somebody who is using a oxy fuel system if he or she is not fully knowledgeable or equipped about the information on the process and and the equipment so it can lead to the disastrous results which you see on the right side of your screen in case of uh uh insecure or unsafe work area in case there is a flashback taking place or flashback has taken place the results could be what you see on your screen the regulator could burst the hoses could burst or even sometimes the cylinders could burst the broken regulators the hoses in bad condition or not properly clamped hoses so all these things lead to some sort of hazard or risk for our work area accidents can happen any time if we don't follow the right kind of safe practices so the first step towards that is to know about the gases that we use in our oxy fuel operations first is oxygen acetylene as another uh, very useful gas on one side it is a very friendly gas useful gas but on the other side the gas chemical bond is extremely unstable lpg is gradually finding more and more applications in industry especially in gas cutting one uh, weak point with lpg gas is this is a dense gas it is much heavier than air now what is oxy fuel cutting process so practically if you see 
the flame that we generate in the beginning is actually a, a just a preheat flame which heats the metal to help reach the ignition temperature before melting ignition temperature and when we press the lever the the stream of oxygen coming from the central hole which acts as a jet jet this actually helps in cutting so practically if we look at oxyfuel cutting so the cutting is done with the help of oxygen when we talk of safety so it is must to mention that the the two pipe torches which are conventionally used are in the industry are relatively not that safe as three pipe torches because in a two pipe torch the oxygen and fuel gas are getting mixed air somewhere in the in the in the mixing chamber and the mixture or the mixed gases flow in the lower tube and since the oxygen and fuel gas mixture is highly explosive in nature so in the event of a flashback the torch can explode anywhere here wherever it finds the weakest area you can see a few pictures where the explosions have taken place so to ensure better safety at our work location the oxyfuel cutting is suggested to be done using a three pipe torch as you see in the picture here the oxygen and acetylene or oxygen and lpg gas get mixed in the nozzle here you can see one torch uh, one nozzle which has uh, got damaged the reason is incorrect uh, selection of nozzle that means if you are using oxy acetylene as a combination there will be a different nozzle but you see on the left side a single piece nozzle and if you are using oxy lpg or oxy bmcg oxy nano gas so in that event you have to use a different nozzle known as pnme nozzle which comes in two parts the backfire is not that much risky but flashback is extremely dangerous in case it happens this is uh, where the flashback arrester is to be used if we go from bottom to top first is immediately after the regulator then you is your choice you can have in between if the hose is long or you can avoid also and then one has to be immediately before the torch a uh, gas regulator my colleague sanka mentioned about this is one of the most important part of a oxyfuel system because this is what this device actually converts your uh, pressure from cylinder to the working pressure so there has to be a right regulator for every application uh, it is not that uh, no we we put one regulator for different gases that is not correct for lpg many times you can see this type of arrangement on the which which is there on the right side of your screen this is not correct the right arrangement is there on the left side of your screen gas hoses sometimes we find these are being used in spite of getting you uh, know into this condition this we should avoid and in the event some cracks have started appearing on the hoses should be immediately replaced gas manifolds can further lead to uh, better safety because in, in in case of gas manifolds all the cylinders are kept outside the work area and the gases are transported through a pipeline overhead pipeline so our work area becomes more safe thank thank you so much mr arun for explaining the unique safety considerations for the different methods of uh, welding and cutting so thank you all of you for participating in today's development debate we hope to see you again next time till then take care and stay safe for more updates please subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon